I just wanted to run for you real quick um, how this guide works. So it's quite straightforward, I'm not going to go into detail. So all you need is start with a Shopify store. You need to sign up to the $5 plan. It's called the Starter Plan, as you can see I've signed up. Um, and then what you need to do first is add your products. So I've already created a product here called Course. That's our example. Go in. I've not added an image or anything. I've added a price. I've told Shopify it's a digital product by unchecking this box here. That's important if you're selling digital products. Right, we'll go back. And then what you need to do next is install these apps. So you need to install downloadable digital assets. And you need to install the sales channel buy button. As you can see here, it's a sales channel. So these two need to be installed. Um, currently I've gone on to a free trial there, but it's got a free plan. So it, it's free if you want to use the free plan. Um, so once you've installed the apps, I want you to go to downloadable digital assets. And then I want you to go to the assets page, click upload new assets. And then what you're gonna do is upload a file. So you can go here, upload any file you want, you know, your digital product. Once it's uploaded, for example, okay, I'll just do it again. Let's say I'll just upload this picture. Once it's uploaded, you can click this link. You can go here and you can see the Shopify product already shows here. They automatically load into the app. So it's called course. I'll click on that and I'll attach this asset to the product. Click attach. There you go. Now you can see it's attached to the product. And that's what you need to do there. So we'll just close this. Um, now what you'll need to do is go to the buy button. So we're going to create the button that we're going to place on the Wix site. So you go to the buy button, click on that. Open sales channel. And you're going to click create a buy button. It's going to be a product buy button. You're going to choose the product that's in Shopify. It's going to be based on this product basically. All right, here's an example that I've done earlier. I've done it in red. It looks a bit weird, but it's an example. Let's put in something a bit more interesting. Let's just do it in white. Uh, Grey so we can kind of see it. Because on the Wix site, it's a dark background, so we want a lighter colour. You can't use a dark colour. Anyway, Grey should let you see it. Um, so what you can do here, you can change the font, all the different things that you need. Um, shopping cart, you know, all the details. Oh, wrong one. Keep customizing. Um, you can change the button style, you know, the button corners, whatever you need to do. Go back. You can change the style, basic, so it just has the button. Then you can add the text on the Wix site if you want to. You can have the full view. If I add a product picture, it would show here. Let's just do classic for now because it shows the text, the price, and the button. You can have it so whenever the customer clicks the button, it will take them to a cart page or show the cart on the right hand side. Or it'll direct them straight to checkout. For example, we're just gonna put direct to checkout. And then what you're gonna do is click next. I'm gonna copy this code. So Shopify still haven't updated it at the time of this recording. So this has some old things about Wix and it, it seemed to just not work very well. It, it was confusing. They need to update it. So anyway, we'll copy the code. Um, go to your Wix site. So this is the editor. I've already created one there, let's delete that. And all you need to do is go to the edit page. Say I'm going to use this as an example that this is the product. Go to the plus icon here. Go down to embed code, embed HTML. And you're just going to paste that in there and press update. And as you can see, what I meant about the lighter color on the text. And then that's it, really. That's all you need to do. And then publish. Done. So if we go here, this sh uh, just um, let me preview it. I guess preview. Press buy. Ah, oh, so I haven't set up the payment gateways at the moment, so this isn't going to work. Um, so what you need to do after you've set up all your store, just click exit on that one. You will have to go down to the uh, the thing here. Go to settings. Go to payments. And then what you need, what I'd recommend is always use Shopify payments because you'll get the best rates. Um, they support all these different cards, MasterCard, Amex, Apple Pay and Shop Pay and Google Pay, you know, all the most popular ones. Um, 
and plus they don't charge a transaction fee but they do on other so they don't with uh, the express payouts but they do with if you're going to add like a, net, a separate um, payment gateway with someone else they'll charge a big transaction fee as well as these fees so they will also always add this fee so anyway complete account setup you're going to go through and add your details it's quite straightforward it's only a short form and they'll accept you or they'll decline you they'll most probably accept you because they accept everyone if it's valid in your country i'd always recommend setting up paypal as well because it gives the customers two different gateways to use if this one didn't work for some weird reason they can use paypal it's a lot easier for customers to use paypal and there's also a safety barrier for you and the customer um chargebacks don't happen as often for anyone when it's paypal because they actually they're actually pretty good to be fair with chargebacks chargebacks through um, bank accounts they always side with the customer but yeah anyway once you set up the gateways this will work on the website so this buy button will work and that's how simple it is and once your customer pays they'll get delivered the download link through the digital assets app that we set up before and if you want to afterwards you can go in here you can see all your orders showing up you can resend the download email you can do all the different bits you can go to settings you can place limitations like for example this is a good one restrict customers downloads to a number of ip addresses so if they send the download email to other people if you had this as one only they will be able to download it because it's their ip address um you got checkout settings so the the download links will appear on the thank you page once they get to the checkout page that's a good one they will always get sent the email unless you turn off the email setting so you can disable the email setting here so disable all order emails but i wouldn't recommend that because customers want the email of their download links you can change your plan so there you go you got a free plan uh, you can add your own servers to host your files if you've got large files edit email templates so you can edit the subject from name create your own template add your logo all that um, you can send from your own email uh, you can connect to the API if you want to, if you've got a different method. But yeah, that's everything really. That's all you need to know. If you get stuck, just drop us a message.